What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanics. So, uh, between this last episode and this episode, we went and we raided a couple of places. Well, we did. We did two. We did two warehouse raids. The first one was fine. Went off without a hitch. Second one, well, not so much. Uh, we ran into some issues and it was kind of like some game breaking issues, but uh, I got it figured out. We're good. We're back. We're doing the things. Now, one thing that's super exciting about that raid is look what I got. I got two pineapples, which I believe I think is exactly what we needed in order to get the crate to take to the guy and to get our spudling gun was just two pineapples. And we got them. We got them. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go get that guy today in this episode. It's going to be a fantastic time. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Okay, so uh, tons of component kits, tons of electronics. You know, the standard run-of-the-mill stuff whenever you go and uh, run those things. Uh, let's see what else we get. Oh, you know what? We have an epic. Uh, we got an epic uh, garment box. Mm, I don't think I have. I don't have enough cotton for it right now. So I'll have to go out. I'll have to get some cotton for it. We'll uh, we'll check that out. And I want to get some more storage stuff done because, like, my storage, my storage system is just garbage. It is absolutely trash right now. So uh, I want to get those things fixed. We did get, uh, we got another... Uh, another saddle seat or whatever that one's called and we actually got some motors too so yeah super exciting things now future things i want to upgrade this guy i think i think our six by six is ready for an upgrade we got a level five engine on there and it just it needs to be bigger better and more ba you know what i mean you know what i'm saying absolutely okay so first thing let's go and grab um do i have food okay i have a little bit of food I don't have a ton of food right now. Let's just go ahead and eat this. That'll get us a little bit of liquids in us and uh, hydrate us up decently, I guess. But we got to go drop this thing off first. So uh, let's get all this stuff out of here. And then let's throw those two pineapples in there. Like I said, I think two. I think we only needed two pineapples, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, yeah, we're going to start with this. And then we got to go grab uh, We got to grab one of the little caged farmer guys because, well, they're trapped and they got to do the things, you know, you know, you know how it is. You know how it is. So, uh, yes, let's go ahead. Let's get rock and rolling. I'm going to make my way over to the second uh, packing plant because that's where the pineapple stuff's at. And hopefully, I really hope that it was only two that we needed. I think it is. Uh, don't mind that. All right, Mr. Pineapple Guy, you better only need two of these. And I, oh man, if these things break again, I don't know what happened in that episode. It was super weird, uh, but <laughs> we're going we're gonna to make this happen. Please, please just give me... Give me the crate. It looks like I only need two more anyways. All right, we're backed up. Oh, yes. It was only two. It was only two. Oh, that makes me so happy because, you know, these things take like two days to farm. If you don't have uh, if you don't have fertilizer, then, you know, just things can get interesting. So uh, let's go ahead and throw that guy right on there and we'll go and drop this off. And then we got to go get one of our caged little farmer guys and, um, well, bring that guy back too. And we've arrived. All right, so this should be the last pineapple we need. But like I said, we're going to need some farmer dudes. We're going to need some farmer guys. So let's just go ahead and park that right there real quick and hit the button. Sucks that off. Fantastic. Let's go over here. Let's make sure we know what we need. And we're going out and getting the correct things. All right, I want the spud. Oh, I need two. Ooh. All right. Well, I think I know where to get two. So it should not be an issue. All right. Now, um... Let's go grab those two guys. Also, if you guys did miss the stream, um, you can head over to twitch.tv slash and, uh, well, hopefully you can catch the next one. But if you guys, uh, you know, maybe maybe Twitch isn't your thing. I have a second channel that I am trying to upload my uh, my previous live streams to, so it's it'll have a link down below. Z1 Gaming Late Night, that's that's the name of it. So, <laughs> But um, I'm trying to upload those there for you guys, so that way if you do miss them, you can go over there, catch them, hang them out, hang out, have a good time. Uh, all right. So... Where are these guys at? I'm trying to remember. Okay, so this way, this way. Oh, it's this way. I, I think I should just... Yeah, I think I just have to go this way. All right, we are in the, the burning district, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it's called, actually. But somebody told me that there's actually a weld spot on these uh, on these guys' cage. The, uh, the farmers that are, like, trapped. That there's a weld spot there. So I want to check it out. Where are these guys at? Is there one? I know there's one, like, is it in here? <gasps> yeah, okay. Oh, I see you. I see you. Oh, you want you want a shotgun? Well, guess what I got for you? Boom, baby! Get out of here! All right, so somebody told me that there is actually a weld spot on this. Oh, there is. Interesting. It's like right here. Okay, so can I 
Take this over here. Are you serious? Is this a doable thing? Loading it into the back of a flatbed has been a waste this entire time? Oh, no way. I, I want to see. Because if this is the case, we can get two of these guys. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? That is insane. This is the best thing ever. And they're welded to the vehicle, so now you have to worry about them. Oh, my God. I don't have to worry about them falling off. <laughs> All right. We got to go grab... um. We gotta grab another one now too. Oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. All right, so there should be another one. You know, there might be another one like right in here. Should we go take a peek? I know there's one up there further. Let's just take a peek in here and let's see if there's one in here somewhere. All right, I know there's two more over here and you know what? I think we might just grab both of them <laughs> while we're over here. This whole welding thing is amazing. I don't know why, like some, so somebody said it during the stream and it was, I was just like, whoa, 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 what do you, what do you mean you can weld them? I was like, this is amazing. All right. So let's grab this guy. Uh, what was on this side? Isn't it right here? Oh, you know what? I bet we have to, we probably had to move him first. All right. Let's see. No. interesting this one's not showing up weird this one's not showing up as weldable it's not giving me the option the other one did though i wonder why all right hold on i know there's one more right up here let's go check this one too we get that's really weird we'll co i'll come back for you man don't worry also, these guys do respawn, so if you guys need more trapped farmer people, then, well, <laughs> you're in luck, because they'll come back. All right, are you weldable? <gasps> yes! See, that's weird! Can I pick that up? Oh, I can. Okay. I wonder why that one cage isn't... You know what? It's pr They're probably not supposed to be weldable, but they probably... Some of them probably are. We'll go check the other one. Come on, guy. You know you want to be weldable. Oh, this one is just not. That's weird. Hmm. I don't know. All right. Well, you're going back the old-fashioned way. I can't just leave him here, you know? I feel bad. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, We'll just load him up and we'll bring him back with us. Maybe. Ooh. I don't know if we're going to have room or not. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Oh, shoot. What? No. No. <laughs> They're in my inventory. I popped them. I was going to pop them off to. Oh my gosh. They're in my inventory. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. Oh my gosh. I don't. That is. Okay. That's not supposed to happen. There's no way that's legit. There's no way. Mm -mm. I refuse to believe it. Uh, that's super crazy and cool. But no, that is that is not supposed to be a thing. All right, I got this guy loaded up. We're going to head back. Uh, I have the other two guys in my inventory somehow. <laughs> so I definitely do not think that's supposed to be a uh, like unhappening. I don't think that's supposed to be a thing. You sh probably shouldn't be able to put a uh, entire caged person in your pocket. But I'm not complaining. Oh, no, I'm not complaining because guess what? We're just going to whip those guys out. We're going to weld them to our car. We're going to throw them in with the uh, with their their family their family at the trading place we're not trading them this isn't kidnapping it's not slave it's none of that we are freeing their family members it's exactly why all right we have arrived now i want i want to play with these guys again i want to see oh my gosh i can literally just place them <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever <laughs> so uh to reiterate to, to reiterate again some of these cage guys for some reason have a selectable spot on the back that allows you to uh to weld them to your vehicle so you can pick them up with a weld tool weld them to your vehicle well i wanted to take them off because i was like well i need to make room for this guy in the middle uh now that they're welded on you can press and hold right click and they go back in your inventory and they stack that is not supposed to happen i guarantee it i guarantee that is not supposed to happen but that is absolutely hilarious all right, enough torturing these guys. Let's turn them in. And suck up one. And suck up two. 
And suck up three. All right, let me get that spudling gun now. I am ready to play with it. Come on. Oh, it's time. Spud, the Spud Gatler. Shoots potatoes in rapid fire. Uses a lot of potato ammo. That sounds like a plan to me. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so ready for this. How much spud ammo do I have? Okay, I have a hundred. Okay, it has to spin up. <laughs> it's not very accurate, is it? Oh my gosh. Oh, we gotta go play with it. All right, let's go back to our base. I probably should just deconstruct that. Oh, well. All right, come here, hey bot or a uh, bot. I need you. I need testing. Uh, if I if there was a red guy nearby, if there was like a full on farm bot here, I would love to test this out on it. But I don't know where the closest one's at. Oh, hello. What's up, guys? You guys want to play? Yeah. Get wrecked. <laughs> How much did I go through? Oh my god, we went through like thirty. <laughs> we, uh, well, that was ten potatoes each. That's not, that's not very good. Oh man, though, that was that was great. That was that was a good time. Okay, um, let's let's try it out on a. I want to I want to be able to count how many potatoes it takes for each one, because my guess is that it does less damage at just at a higher rate of fire. All right, let's count. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does it take about ten per deal? Yeah. See. Okay. This would be great for the big guys because it doesn't, you don't even care. Yeah, when you're facing off a big, against a big hit farm bot, you, you don't really care how much ammo it takes. Well, I mean, you kind of do, but uh, that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. I mean, it, it might be also good for like, uh, like mowing down like mobs, like, like a whole bunch of them. But uh, you know, that might more, that might be more of a, a shoddy kind of thing. Uh, but you know what? Hey, we're over here. Let's just grab the stuff. <laughs> I already cleared out the area. Let's just clear it out. Uh, for some reason, I can't get my, uh, my, I can't get my lines to disappear. L lines go away. <laughs> I don't want to see. Oh, it works on that one. Why does it work on this one? Go away. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. But uh, alrighty. So we got our spud gatter. Uh, we got some more farmers. We found out like a super cool little trick for now. I would recommend if you guys are gonna try gonna try like to use that. Make sure you, you got it. You're gonna have to do it quick because it's probably gonna get patched if it's gonna not already be patched by the time this comes out. So. Uh, but we are going to end the episode there. It's going to be a little bit, little bit shorter of an episode, but that's all right. Uh, next episode, I think what I want to play with is I want to play with this. I think I want to redesign it a little bit. I think we can make it a little bit bigger and beefier and better. Uh, that's a lot of bees, isn't it? Uh, I think we can make it a little bit bigger, better, beefier. It's going to be a little bit of fun. And then I'm thinking about expanding the farm too, because we're honestly like to the point where we can pretty much take on like the waves. No problem. Uh, I mean, granted, we do need to upgrade probably our defenses and walls and stuff like that. But you know what? Just one thing at a time, right? Absolutely. I'll take on. We'll take on the waves if we can't handle it. Then, well, <laughs> we'll just try it again with a different time. But uh, yes, thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully, you had a fantastic time. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more helps out the channel. Do appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.